Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Committee on Small Business. Will council members and council staff please turn on their video at this time? Please place all cell phones and electronic devices to vibrate. Thank you, Chair, and we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Council Member Mark John. I chair the Committee on Small Business, and I'd like to welcome you to our vote on intros 1898A, 1908B, 1914A, 1932A, Intros 1898 and 1908 are designed to increase the cash flow for our struggling restaurants and intros 1914 and 1932 intend to help businesses that may be harassed during the COVID-19 crisis. Many businesses were tragically forced to shut their doors during this pandemic. According to a recent survey by the New York State Restaurant Association, sales have declined by 79% for restaurants across the state. Just half of all restaurants have been able to move their operations on, not online and nearly 80% of restaurant workers have lost their jobs. Some restaurants have been able to move their operations online. Many of them have entered into contracts with third party platforms like Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash or Postmates. While these platforms can offer restaurants a marketing or delivering service, they charge restaurants commissions fees as high as 30% per order, which is extremely high considering they, don't, they didn't create the recipe, they don't cook the food, nor did they make the investment in opening a restaurant or share the risk with the restaurant. I am therefore proud to be a co-prime sponsor with my colleague, Council Member Francisco Moya on intro 1908, which will cap commission fees for the duration of this crisis and for additional 90 days after the restaurants are allowed to reopen their doors to dine-in customers. I'm very proud of my bill, intro 1898, a bill designed to prevent third-party platforms from charging restaurants for telephone orders that did not result in an actual transaction. A restaurant owner testified during a hearing last month that he's been charged hundreds of dollars for phone calls that did not result in sales. And we're aware that these erroneous charges are still occurring today while these restaurants are struggling to survive. Intro 1898 will make the practice illegal, shifting the burden to the third party platforms to ensure no restaurant is charged for, not, for a non transactional phone order. We also will be voting on intros 1932 and 1914. Intro 1932 will prohibit enforcement of commercial lease provisions that hold business owners personally responsible when their business cannot pay rent due, due to COVID-19. Intro 1914 protects tenants from landlord harassment during this crisis. While many landlords in the city have renegotiated leases to help their tenants, this bill will provide additional protection to small businesses that may be experiencing harassment. The bills we're voting on today are a strong start to protecting our small businesses during this pandemic. And as chair of the Small Business Committee, it is my priority to ensure our small business sector will reemerge strong after stay-at-home orders are lifted and the city begins to reopen. I'd like to thank my chief of staff, Chief of Staff, Reggie Johnson, Committee Counsel, Stephanie Jones, Policy Analyst, Noah Mexler, and Financial Analyst, Aliyah Ali, for all their hard work. I call on the Legislative Clerk to do a roll call on today's votes, but before we do that, I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues who have joined me today. With us, we have Council Members Adams, Council Member Chin, Council Member Perkins, Council Member Rodriguez, Council Member Rosenthal, Council, Council Member Yeager, Council Member Moya. I'd like to uh, turn it over to Council Member Moya to deliver a statement about intro 1908. Thank you, thank Chair John. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to you and your for your leadership on these issues that uh, really have a profound impact on our small businesses uh, here in the city of New York. 
Uh, I also want to thank uh, Speaker Corey Johnson for his support uh, and guidance throughout this uh, period of time that we've been going through. But in particular, I want to take uh, the opportunity to thank uh, the staff, especially uh, Stephanie Jones for the great work that she's done uh, working on this bill uh, with me and also my chief of staff, Megan Taddeo, uh, for the great work that they've been doing. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of them for helping uh, to protect New York's mom and pop restaurants from the exorbitant amount of fees of billion dollar tech companies. Uh, when I introduced 18, uh, 1908 in February, the city looked a lot, lot different than it does today. Uh, one thing that remained uh, constant though was that restaurants were struggling to keep uh, their doors open over the commission fees from apps like Grubhub. These fees could reach percent or higher uh, on every online order exceeding the already razor thin profit uh, margins that restaurants were operating under. If these tech companies were nibbling away at restaurants before COVID, they're now bleeding them dry. Uh, like so many other longstanding inequities around the city and the country, the pandemic uh, deepened and expanded this imbalance between neighborhood restaurants and tech giants like Grubhub. So as the city landscape changed in the wake of uh, the COVID crisis, we also realized we had to change this bill to better meet that moment. Uh, here, is how we updated the bill to serve our local restaurants. Uh, we made this bill specifically uh, to address COVID times and declare a state of emergencies so we could provide restaurants critical relief at the time it most needed. The fee caps will automatically go into place at time at a state of an emergency, when a state of emergency is declared and remain in place another 90 days uh, after it's lifted. We also carved out separate delivery services from other fees like marketing. We, but unlike marketing services, there is a real fixed cost for delivery for actual workers, not programs and lines of code uh, who have to go out and make these deliveries. Uh, these are mostly people of color who we now count as essential frontline workers, exposing themselves to the pandemic so that New Yorkers across the city can eat safely. These fees will be capped at 15% on all deliveries and 5% on other fees like marketing and other processing. Uh, we also fully intend to pursue the permanent cap because we know COVID didn't create this problem, it was exacerbated. Too many restaurants across the city have already announced their doors are shut for good. Uh, if we do not pass this bill now, we are going to be fewer and fewer restaurants to choose from whenever we finally have the option to do so again. Neighborhood restaurants are part of our community's character and culture, especially immigrant communities like mine. Uh, who's even one? Who's going to replace another mom and pop shop? I doubt it. Before the pandemic, I could already see a nightmare uh, version of a vision of New York that was nothing but chain restaurants on every block because no locally owned places could survive the cost of business here in the city. Without putting in place the protections these bills would create, that nightmare seems almost impossible to avoid. That's why we're going to pass 1908 and a a greater urgency to get this done. And so I wanna thank my colleagues, the central staff again for their support on this issue. On behalf of myself and the locally owned restaurants in my community and across the city, uh, I say thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Member Moya. It's a tremendous day for us all in uh, fighting for our restaurants and small businesses. Uh, I call on Council Member Adams, uh, who would like to make any remarks on her intro 1914. Councilmember Adams, you have to unmute. Waiting for someone to unmute. Sorry. <laughs> good morning, Chair. Good morning to my colleagues. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chair Jonai, for having this uh, important, important meeting today and for the vote, uh, which in intro 1914, which would make threatening a commercial tenant based on their status as a COVID-19 impacted business or person, a form of harassment punishable by a civil penalty of $10,000 to $50,000. Our businesses, especially small businesses, are so important to our neighborhoods. These businesses are suffering right now, as we all know. They're forced to adapt to a new normal, and we need to act now to protect the businesses that make our neighborhoods vibrant and build the character of our communities.
Unfortunately, thousands of businesses in our city are suffering as they've been forced to close due to COVID-19. As availability of federal loans is limited, many businesses are unable to pay their rent. This is vulnerable to harassment from landlords looking to find ways to collect or to get to voluntarily abandon the property so they can find tenants willing and able to pay higher rents. The threat of harassment will particularly impact the city's small, independently owned and immigrant owned businesses, many of which were operating on very thin margins and struggling to pay rent even before this crisis. So I thank the speaker for his support on these efforts, this entire package of legislation, and I encourage my colleagues to support commercial tenant protections and vote in favor of Intro 1914. Thank you again, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member. I'd like to turn it over to William Martin, who will hold the roll call on these bills. Good morning. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Small Business. All items are coupled. Chair Jonai. Aye on all. Rodriguez. Aye on all. Rosenthal. I on all. Perkins. I on all. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Um, William, I believe Council Member Levin may have just joined us as well. I don't know if he's able to vote now. Council Member Levin? I vote aye on all. Thank you. Final, final vote on committee on small business is now all items have been adopted. Five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martin. This will conclude today's hearing and vote. I need to fix something over here.